Hello, I'm Medina County Auditor Mike Lee Kovac, and I want to welcome you to Community Connections. And we are in Brunswick today with the Medina County Commissioner Steve Hambly at the brand new Susan L. Hambly Nature Center. So I want to thank you very much for joining us today, Steve. It's a, it's a beautiful building uh, uh, in, a, in a great uh, setting here. And uh, if you could just take a minute and tell us a little bit about how the center came about and where it's located. I sure can. Thank you, Mike. Thank you for inviting me today. Uh, uh, as you point out, there's a real beautiful center that was just completed this year. Uh, back several years ago, the Brunswick City applied for a grant from the state uh, mm -hmm. to have for this uh, nature center. They received a $250,000 grant. Uh, the remainder part came uh, for funding. This came from what they call impact fees right. uh, from development that have gone on over the years, and they put this all together. The idea is to take the peninsula, which is part of the Brunswick Lake properties, and actually provide that uh, access to the public for that na natural area. Uh, many years ago, uh, whenever Brunswick Lake was being developed, the, the thought was to make that high-end housing, like four hundred, right. five hundred thousand dollar homes. And I remember the day that uh, Sue came uh, and, and uh, from home from council and basically said, you know, what we've decided is we're not going to see that develop. It is far too pretty, to, far too precious right. to see it uh, mm -hmm. go that way. We want to we want to try preserving it. We want to put a nature center there and connect up the community in terms of the uh, roadways as well as the uh, trails to this nature center. And I thought it was, oh, that's a great idea. Both of us grew up here, <laughs> right. and we would come out to Brunswick Lake uh, every, every now and then, so it was never on this side of the lake, usually on the other side. But here was uh, you know, uh, some part of the nature of Brunswick that could be preserved. And it's uh, beautifully done, and again, it's just off Route 303, Center mm -hmm. Road, next to the Winking Lizard Tavern. Uh, and Bueller's. Uh, yeah. And Bueller's, yes. And again, I just saw the overview, the Isthmus out, uh, Peninsula mm -hmm. out into the lake, uh, mm -hmm. gorgeous property. And, and I think talking to Andy Hudak, there's about 14 acres here going mm -hmm. out mm -hmm. to the peninsula. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, but there's also the Brunswick controls with the conservation easement, a lot more ground on the other side of the lake, as that would be. Oh, exactly setting. right. It was all part of the Brunswick uh, the developments. I think this building's about like 1,500 square feet, mm -hmm. and this room holds about like 50. This is a meeting room. They have, uh, as you'll see, is there's a lot library here, and like right. they have live animal displays, and, right. and you'll you'll see it with the tour that Andy gives you, okay. you'll be able to see all the all the uh, features of Brunswick, the kind of the wildlife that in some parts of Brunswick no longer exist. And I'll just mention that the, the hours of operation: Tuesday noon to six, Wednesday one to eight. Thursday 2 to 6, Friday noon to 7, Saturday 11 to 5, uh, and it's my understanding that the trail, which actually goes out to the peninsula around the lake, I haven't mm -hmm. been out there yet, we'll mm -hmm. take a look here in a bit, but that stays open till dusk, I guess, with, right. this is the case yeah, with most well, of uh, Yeah, I, I think you'll probably hear that. Their eventual plan is to, to put some kind of a fine stone along and make it a little bit more accessible for right. everybody, and that's, uh, when we did the opening here in April, I remember you know, commenting, uh, you know, one of the aspects that the Sioux provided to council, and I think the city, with all their years of involvement, when these kind of facilities, she'd be the first one out checking out for access, right. making sure that the mm -hmm. doors were wide enough, that a wheelchair can get in and out, that the parking can be fine, mm -hmm. that the, the curb cuts that are good, even just a little bit off. Yeah. You know, we may not think about it, but she obviously would, would uh, bring that to people's attention. She did that with Brunswick Lakes, and she would have been the first one out here checking out, making mm -hmm. sure that everything was accessible. This is a tremendous dedication to her. There's a wonderful plaque at the entrance there, which we'll get a, a picture of. But I think uh, at this point, maybe we'll go get uh, young Mr. Who Hudak and uh, and have his have him show us a little bit more of the uh, the nature center here. Thank you. Uh, we're outside the Susan Hambly Nature Center now, and Andy Hudak, the naturalist here, has joined us. Thank you very much, Andy. Welcome. And uh, if you could uh, tell us tell us a little bit more about what you have here and what people can expect to see if they show up. Absolutely. This is Brunswick's newest park. We've got about 85 acres uh, around and including the lake, Lake Brunswick. Um, we've got a half mile nature trail that walks around the park. If you leave from the front porch, it's a loop that takes you out to the lake, and you'll come back on the other side. So it's uh, it's pretty accessible of course it's not stoned yet we uh, we're working on that we have a grant that we've put in to get uh, stone for the nature trail but at this point it's simply a loop through the forest we are working again with uh, county parks to put a trail in around the lake we'd like to get a, a walking trail all the way around that would be about a mile um, so that would be a total of a mile and a half trails out here uh, we do have programs that go on we have hikes that will be leading through out uh, from the nature center along the peninsula just talking about what's out there what we try and do is promote the things that are in everyone's backyard that you might not know about if you didn't 
if you weren't looking for them. If you didn't know they were there, you might not understand them. And that's what we're trying to show people is what all the neat stuff that's out there that you wouldn't think would be around in Ohio. And another thing, uh, something unique about this year, you're actually manning this with a lot of volunteers also. That's you? right. So, we're just trying to get started. Mm -hmm. since I'm the only staff that is at the Nature Center currently. Uh, we're looking for folks that are able to come in and just be in the Nature Center so that it can be open for folks to come in. And, uh, you know, there's still there's somebody here to answer your questions, somebody here to, you know, point out some of the things that we've got going on, uh, let you know about the trail, let you know what maybe if you've got a question about what you saw, mm -hmm. hopefully they can answer questions. So we're looking for knowledgeable folks that are, uh, we've got a lot of uh, certified volunteer naturalists that have come in and mm -hmm. uh, stepped forward and said they'd like to be a part of the Nature Center. Some folks that are just just have a nature uh, interest in nature uh, from their own backyard or from other park districts and uh, it's working well we've got a lot of folks interested and we're hoping to keep the expand our hours so that we've got seven day a week operation um, mm -hmm. from about 10 and 10 in the morning until eight or so at night depending on what sort of turnout we get from volunteers but so far it's looking really good right and if someone was interested in volunteering how would they get hold of you? Uh, they could email me at hudak at brunswick.oh.us okay. uh, and then i'll get back to them with a volunteer application and they can come in we'll have a little interview make sure that uh, their interests are what we're looking for why don't we take a walk back on the trail to see the lake so. sounds good Okay, we have now traveled out on the peninsula here at the Susan Hambly uh, Nature Center. We're bordering right on uh, Brunswick Lakes here, I believe, right. and uh, a very nice uh, walk out here. The land that we were talking about before, the 85 acres, is under conservation easement. So nothing can ever be built on the property other than the trails that we talked about mm -hmm. and the Nature Center. Uh, but there's, of course, the other side of Brunswick Lake, which um, some of it's still to be developed. Mm -hmm. uh, the city's working on looking on some partners to help develop that land and those partners that come in and do whatever development happens over there um, again there's negotiations going on now but they'll be responsible for helping to develop the rest of the the city owned land into a park so the other side of the lake will be sort of a community gathering area right. but uh, yeah there there is plans to have that whole other side um, developed into parkland and then we'd have pretty much 360 around the lake um, either some sort of uh, residential community shopping or uh, Rec recreational gathering place. And you were saying too that there is fishing allowed at this lake? Right. The other side of the lake is completely open to fishing at this point but this side is not. And that is Brunswick Lake Boulevard that comes in back there? That's, That's right, Brunswick okay. Lake Boulevard. All right, okay, terrific. And uh, you're telling me also I guess you've got some of the school kids coming out here now yeah, on their field absolutely. trips. Is the, that, uh, uh, the kids are close enough that the teachers are calling me and asking can we walk there? And I, absolutely, mm -hmm. I'm, I, I'm always open to that. I usually make them walk a little bit more. We do the trail and learn <laughs> about what's out there but uh, we've had some excellent uh, uh, field trips. The fourth graders from Huntington were just out here last week. They walked all the way here right. and we had a, a little program for them. It was excellent. Uh, yeah, terrific. Well, I tell you what, this is this is a, a beautiful thing that the city of Brunswick has done with this land here. Uh, uh, a tremendous memorial to, to Sue there, Steve. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, I want to thank you both for, for coming out and showing this to us today. So uh, we appreciate you tuning in. We're here at the Susan Hambly Nature Center in Brunswick. Uh, I'm Medina County Auditor Mike Kovac. We appreciate you tuning in.